Welcome guys, back to Life is Strange Before the Storm, part 2, episode 1. And I think I know where we are. Nightmare dream secrets, I would say. Country music? Dad loved this song. Right. Okay, I'm going to try and read this without cutting off. Dear Chloe, I have the best news. I'm coming back to Hokkien Bay. My dad got a job at the bacon and we are moving back in like a day. How crazy is that? I missed you so much, Chloe. I found out the other day that the letters that I've been sending to you got lost in the mail. That's so shitty. I'm... Never, I'll never not write to you like I'll never, f I'll never forget you. You're my best friend and I've missed you so much. Promise me the first thing I do when I get back is to hit up with you at Two Wheels for some, for some of those mum's waffles. And then we are going to binge watch TV in bed and draw some comics. Oh my God, what a child uh, about a superhero art. After the LG goes for ourselves, and then we're going to take grandma shots of our beautiful faces, so all the world can know how incredible you really are. I can't wait, Chloe. Oh, how nice! But if we just go back there, and if we go here, no, no, no. If you go here, if you see the Texas. Okay. Where did you go? I thought we were making breakfast. You better not be hiding in the cross again. You know what? I don't like it. When you jump out of the skirt, I thought it was... Okay. Have we access to the journal yet? The, that, you know, that little jewel thing. Oh, I guess it's the first one. I know what a spark plug does. And even though Max tried to change it, it just got the same as it was. Rest in peace, William. Is Chloe sleeping? The hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. That sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying. I that... see everything. I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Cow.
stage. I was never there in the first one. Oh, well, that's fun. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? Mm -hmm. I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. Right, sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. Alright, see you in Cam. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Keep pressing the wrong button. Why? Why am I? Why do I keep getting? Uh, I'm pressing the buttons, but. You're not allowing me to do anything. Do I have to? Get DVD from... Now, one thing I've also heard of is that you can actually see Warren from there. He's basically over there. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Steph. Fuck is Steph. I want to speak to her. Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. That sounds high probable. I don't want one. Uh, I'm gonna go awkward. I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity's overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good, but instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Miss Grant, the least blamed teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. That's just the same mechanic for Max, that is. Swimming pool. <laughs> Broke in there for the, for the last one. This game is so amazing. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. I just looked to all the way. Oh, let's do this. Carrie Price! It's Chloe. 
Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloody, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's Cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life of a real life. That's my motto. I know. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join our game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. So dummy makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. 
The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? off, as in go away. No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. I'm crazy, so you know what's crazy? When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? If you were going to throw down, you would have already. This clown show is over. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh me. You shut the fuck up. Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Okay, now come again to this place. No, I don't care. Whoa! Shit. Oh, good. You're here. She scares me a little bit. <laughs> oh my word, that was pissing. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to. Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. 
This is getting as surreal as last night. Mm-hmm. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? I don't know. Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow, a romantic and a cynic. That actually kind of helps me. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. <laughs>